Imagine entering the ninth grade knowing that you've been given $500 to attend college, and that money will continue to grow. That's Senator Narissa Underwood's dream for public school students, and she hopes to make it a reality through Bill 35. PNC's Betsy Brown has more on the First Generation Trust Fund Initiative. 65% of all jobs are expected to require an education beyond high school by the year 2020. That's according to predictions from the Georgetown University of Education. And that's also why Senator Narissa Underwood wants to make college more accessible for the island's youth. She's authored Bill 35, which would create a trust fund account for every public school student entering the ninth grade. And each trust fund would begin with a $500 balance to use at the University of Guam or Guam Community College. Superintendent John Fernandez offered his support for the measure during a press conference this afternoon. When I talk to our students, uh, especially those who are headed to graduation, I always ask them, okay, you want to go to college, you know you're going to graduate, what are you doing to um, ensure that you get in? GCC or UOG is you know, obviously great options. Uh, do you expect to put yourself through uh, do it by yourself and do you know what that means? It's this year's eighth grade class that would be the first to benefit from the bill and all they have to do to qualify for the program is remain enrolled in a Guam public school and graduate. Where will the government get $500 for every student? According to the legislation, the Foundation for Public Education will provide $75,000 each fiscal year beginning in 2016 to fund the program, and the Department of Education will have to provide $75,000 more out of their appropriation. UOG will give $250,000 and GCC $150,000. So far, the legislation does not include any provisions to lock tuition in place, but co-sponsor Judy Wampat spoke about the possibility during today's press conference. Senator Rory Respicio is also a co-sponsor for the measure. Betsy Brown, PNC News.